Polish lawmaker backs burqa ban. No Saudi mosques in Europe until Poland can build cathedral in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Holy shit. Poland is woke. <laughs> wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> the, 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 there is an art to trolling, I suppose. The, the, the Poles really do have it down pat. Polish lawmaker Dmitry Taras. Klaski, I might be mispronouncing, has waded into the European burqa debate saying it should be banned partly for security reasons and partly make it clear that Islamic radicals that they cannot demand more rights in Europe than Europeans have in Saudi Arabia. Mr. Tsznaki, I might be mispronouncing that name, I'm sorry, it's Polish, a member of Poland's ruling Law and Justice Party, made waves in Britain after clashing with left liberal journalist Kathy Newman over illegal immigration. You probably remember Kathy from such videos with Jordan Peterson. Speaking exclusively to Bright Bar London shortly after ex-Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson's run-in with the establishment over criticism of the burqa, the Polish law graduate insisted that Islamic face veils should be banned in the same way the Christian cross is banned in Saudi Arabia. Oh, we're going to touch on that in a sec. He suggested the relationship between the West and Islam world was currently unbalanced, citing a mosque which Saudi Arabia's theoretic regime wants to construct in the Polish capital of Warsaw was an example. We're happy to have it once they have agreed for Poland to build a cathedral in Saudi Arabia, he said. It's very simple, either we are equal or we are partners, or we are the same human beings, or they feel they have better than others, he de declared. Alright, before we jump into the rest of it, I, I didn't even realise the cross was banned in Saudi Arabia. Um, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. You, you, you're not allowed to be Christian in Saudi Arabia. Wow, okay. Uh, so if you're Christian and you fly to Saudi Arabia, what are you you're supposed to what? Don't display. Don't tell anybody. Um, okay. You know, it, it, you, you just have to be careful. It, it's the same. It, it's because their religion mm. um, doesn't tolerate Others. other religions mm. in their country. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. But I thought they were tolerant. Moving along, he said. <laughs> He also said that the burkas, which have been used as disguise by suicide bombers, holy shit, we're going to close the sun on this one, boys. The child molesters and armed robbers across the globe should be banned for security reasons, as it's already in many European countries. Mr. Tedinsky, my friend's pronouncing once again, pointed out the ordinary people often face. Sorry, ordinary people often. Sorry, Mr. Tedinsky, my friend's pronouncing. Sorry pointed out that ordinary people often face recognition on whether they can cover their faces. Balaclavas, crash helmets and masks are prohibited in a number of public areas in Britain, for example, and that was wrong for religious fundaments to expect more rights than others. Okay, obviously English is not his first language here, guys. Um, if you do not like, uh, if you don't like Christian Europe, go to Saudi Arabia and deal with those who treat you the way you you expect, he stated bluntly. We are equal as human beings. If you're expecting more for European Christians than European Christians can expect in the Islamic world, well, you have no right to expect more. Basically, we are equal. If you're not happy with Europe, go to Arab countries and stay there. Holy jeez. All right, um, Austria, Belgium, Berlin, France, and Denmark, which have already passed face veil bans, have all far larger Muslim populations than Poland, which hosts only a small number of recent arrivals and long-established Lepka-Tar communities, described by Taraski as well-integrated, well-tolerated, and very much welcome. The Berka has therefore been a relatively low-priority issue in Poland, but the fact that the country is part of the European Union's Sagenda area, described by former Interpol chief Robert Noble as effectively an international passport-free zone for terrorists, and shares long borders with Germany, which hosts many thousands of Islamic radicals, means that Polish lawmakers are still very concerned. 
In Germany and Sweden and many other countries in this process, this is deemed to allow burkas to start starts with the words like democracy and freedom of religion and all those beautiful words which have nothing to do with reality and it ends up with suicide attacks, he warned. Whoo! Getting a little hot here. Um, we have to take lessons from the nations which have fa uh, uh, sorry, we have to take lessons from nations which are facing huge consequences like the burqa, has nothing to do with the way we live, it has nothing to do with our identity, Islamic radicals use those rights to kill Europeans, it's simple as that, he added. Poland should learn from Belgium, France, Germany and other countries, we cannot copy their mistakes. Oh boy, um, okay, um, thoughts that it's not going to get my YouTube channel flagged into oblivion? Uh... <laughs> What do you want me to go first and you can think of a creative way of saying it? I, I, I agree. So I think um, religions comes second after yep. the states, uh, laws and culture. That's, yes. about, <laughs> that's about as best as I can say it. Yeah, look, at the end of the day, I, I can't walk into a bank with a motorbike helmet. So that said, I can't walk into a bank with a bell clover on. I get asked to remove my headpiece. So, should it not be the same for everybody? Basically, that's how I see it, yeah. yeah. Moving along! <laughs> oh boy. Um, but yeah, look, I, I, I know Australia's played around with the idea of banning the burqa as well. Uh, Paul Hansen has called for it. Um, and there are a lot of European countries that have done it. Um, so, the, the only problem I see with banning it is that it's easy to spot the radicals because they're the ones wearing it. If you go, That's right. if you go allowing them to, or if you go banning the burqa, they're going to blend into society. Um, so does that is that a, uh, a an issue? Or that's is... an that's an interesting way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. All right, move along. Yeah, moving along, uh, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think that Poland is right when they say ban the burqa? Do you think other countries like Australia, America and whatnot should also follow suit? Or do you think that it's a... Well, it's not a religious garment, is it? It's it's not part of their religion. So it's it, a garment... It's gum... actually not, no. No. So it's, it's, it's... it's actually not in the Quran or anything like that. It's, no. um, I'm not sure where it came from. Yeah. Um, Moving along. But like I say, do you think they should be allowed to wear it? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.